That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! Got you killed. Hey, do you know what happened to Miguel? He didn't make it. <sighs> What's wrong with your arm? Ah, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some warm wood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. Oh, hey, what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. Sure, you know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward. <laughs> Flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> Jonah. I... Hey. I'm with you. It's my choice. Most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? You know, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kowakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. I 
think we can see the village through the vines over there. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted to be able to find you. I had a flare gun, so... Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when... How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. I had my answer. <laughs> Do you really believe in all that, that stuff you said about the cataclysms, the apocalypse? I believe that if it is true, it's important enough to die for, or for Trinity to kill for. So this is really about revenge? No, no. I. When I took the key, I also felt a power pulling me towards something that's real. If you felt a power pulling you when you took the key, is it in your head now? We can get through here. Give me a hand. Mm. Ah! Uh. See that? It must be Kwak Yaku. We have to get down there. You sure this is a path? Come on, stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. <sighs> oh. Oh! Yeah. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. <sighs> oh, gotcha! You right? I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You all right? I I'm okay. I'm okay. Could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. The bridge is down. Maybe we can lift it with those counterweight. Cinnabar was used in the ancient past for producing a bright orange pigmentation on ceramics, murals, tattoos, and in religious ceremonies. Maybe. I hope that this structure is here because we're on our way to that village. Me too. This depicts the Incan god Kone. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Kone was in charge of the wind and the rain. Although, in some legends, he was only in charge of the weather that came from the south, while his brother, Pachacamac, was in charge of weather that came from the north. <clears throat> I bet this water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. This describes something nearby. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. This'll be useful. <laughs> Do 
You know, if I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. <laughs> Wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. <laughs> What about you? Ever do Girl Scouts or Nature Camp as a kid? Mm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always preferred the company of adults anyway. <sighs> yeah. I'll miss that guy. Me too. did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. With Eli gone, your arm should heal quickly. Yeah. I feel a lot better already. The Canopa serves as a receptacle for offerings of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuff canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer will yield large crops in a successful breeding season. It's too heavy. Give me a hand. Water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. <sighs> the bucket's leaking. Need to get the water flowing to the bucket. Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's... A recipe seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here.
We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. These are different from the ruins in Mexico. Do your dad's notebooks say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But Dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest, or... Or? I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. These two gods are the rulers of the Maya underworld, Shabalba, literally the place of fright. Fukub Kakwish, whose name means Seven Macaw, was a monstrous bird who was said to carry the false sun in his beak. His subordinate was Hunkame, which means one death. They are both defeated and killed by the hero twins after challenging them to various sports and games in which both sides cheated. Vukub Kukwish lost his game of darts when the hero twins used blowpipes. A passageway. That's promising. May Ergu be the one to chart the path from this life to the next, so... Remind me how the riddle goes again. Chase the heart of the serpent. To the silver-crowned mountain where the twins confer. Hmm. How far do you think it is to Kwak Yaku? <laughs> you find anything? Roots and ruins. Ready to head out then? Let's go. At least Jonah didn't ask what happened. The Jaguars. I don't want him to worry. We have to stay sharp if we're going to get ahead of Trinity.
this gear is early 20th century. That starch shirt Forset may be getting all the attention, but I know his time is almost up. The world will remember the Timothy Walker as the man who finally found the lost city of El Dorado. We've set up camp in a canyon. It was a grueling journey to get this far. We'll rest here a few days, get our bearings. Some of the men need patching up, and I wouldn't mind one good night's sleep. The men say something came through the camp last night. The jungle is getting to them. I keep telling them that we're close and we need to keep it together. One of the scouts has found a temple of some kind up ahead. We'll start construction of bridges and ladders this morning and head out from camp this afternoon. an incredible sight. Might be the way out.
Damn this place. Damn this forsaken jungle. It holds a jewel just out of reach and then sweeps your legs out from under you. We've almost made it across that bottomless pit. Some kind of altar beckons from the other side, under a giant stone face that seems to mock our efforts. Something attacked the camp. Some men claimed it was panthers. Others said something more sinister. Half the crew insist on abandoning the expedition. I had to dress one man down, made an example of him. All I need is one more day, one more lousy day. must have abandoned this place in the middle of building it. should hold. 